This month in Outer Banks history, downtown Manio was nearly destroyed in the devastating fire of 1939. On a windy night in September 1939, the storage room of the Standard Oil Company in downtown Manio caught fire, creating a blaze that destroyed two-thirds of the downtown business district. Prior to the destructive fire, locals had speculated for nearly 20 years that the combination of the presence of combustible oil tanks and densely packed wooden structures would create a fire hazard for the town. Those predictions came true at 5.40 the morning of September 11, 1939, when a fire broke out causing a series of gasoline drums to explode and set off a massive chain reaction. I looked out the window, and when I got us all these flames and barrels gasoline shooting up in the air and exploding. I'd never seen anything like it before. Within 20 minutes, two structures were completely gone and two more were nearing destruction. When the fire reached the hardware store, several local men began shooting holes in the store's kerosene tanks, hoping to cause the fuel to drain out and burn rather than explode. Manio's firefighters were unable to contain the blaze, even with the assistance of numerous bystanders who had gathered to help. Crews were dispatched from the local Coast Guard stations, the National Park Service, and Civilian Conservation Corps Camp Virginia Dare on the north end of Roanoke Island. Eventually, engines were called in from Norfolk and Elizabeth City to assist. With the help of the additional trucks, the historic Dare County Courthouse was saved, despite the fact that it caught fire three separate times. The blaze was finally extinguished by 8.40, and in the intervening three hours, nearly the entire downtown business district had burned to the ground. In the confusion following the fire, looters began to raid the piles of merchandise and belongings that had been pulled from the burning buildings, and 20 Civilian Conservation Corps boys were deputized to assist with crowd control. Merchants who had been able to rescue their equipment and belongings from the buildings before they burned temporarily set up shops in community spaces, private homes, and even barns. The Dare County Board of Commissioners passed new ordinances stating that buildings must be rebuilt with fireproof material such as brick and steel. Property owners successfully sued the Standard Oil Company and received $41,000 in recompense, although in total the fire did more than $200,000 worth of damage. Miraculously, no one was injured during the fire that morning, which the Dare County Times described as Manio's morning to burn and nobody's day to die. It was a terrible tragedy. Uh, I don't think the town ever got back the same after that. It just wasn't the same thing. Today, the Manio Waterfront's interesting mixture of old and new architecture reflects the history of a town nearly consumed by a fiery blaze 80 years ago this month. For more information about the Manio Fire or any other topic in Eastern North Carolina history, come visit us at the Outer Banks History Center. We're located at Roanoke Island Festival Park across from the downtown Manio Waterfront. <laughs>